Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at some pre-Sonus studio monitors, comparing the pre-Sonus Eris E3.5s to that of the E4.5s and the E5s to hopefully help you find the best pair for your home studio setup. So before we jump into things, I'd first like to remind you that if you are someone that's interested in home studio gear or home studio equipment, or you want to set up your very own home studio, this channel is for you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Secondly, if you end up being interested in any of these studio monitors after watching this video, I will leave some links down in the description below as well. And then last but not least, make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video because I am going to be doing a sound test comparison between the E3.5s, 4.5s and 5s just that you can for yourself pick up the difference between each one and hopefully pick the right one for the things that you're doing in your home studio setup and your productive environment. But without any further ado, let's jump into this video and just see what these studio monitors are all about. The first pair of studio monitors that we can have a look at are the PreSonus Eris E3.5s which are the most popular desktop speakers on the market today. Costing around $100, these studio monitors come with a 1-inch tweeter and blue 3.5-inch cone. The front panel consists of a volume knob, aux and headphone input, whereas the back panel includes some acoustic tuning, RCA outputs and balanced TRS outputs. These studio monitors consist of one active and one passive monitor, connecting via a red and black cable. The next pair of studio monitors that we can have a look at are the PreSonus Eris E 4.5s, which are a pair of speakers neither classified as reference speakers nor studio monitors. Costing around $200, these studio monitors come with a 1-inch tweeter and blue 4.5-inch cone. The front panel consists of a volume knob, aux and headphone input, whereas the back panel includes some acoustic tuning, RCA outputs and balanced TRS outputs. These studio monitors consist of one active and one passive monitor, connecting via a red and black cable. And the final pair of studio monitors that we can have a look at are the PreSonus Eris E5s, which are a quality pair of studio monitors for any home studio setup. Costing around $270, these studio monitors come with a 1-inch tweeter and blue 5-inch cone. The front panel includes a bass reflex port, giving the back panel more space for more room acoustic tuning options and an extra XLR output. These studio monitors are both active with their own power supplies, so they don't connect to each other with any cables. So now that we've gone through these studio monitors in terms of overall look and design and features, it's time to move on to the most important part, which is the sound quality test. <laughs> So now that we've gone through these studio monitors in terms of look and design features and sound quality, it's time to pick the perfect pair for your setup. And starting off with the PreSonus Eris E3.5s, I think these are fantastic for those of you that don't have any desktop speakers. Maybe you have cheap desktop speakers, you're listening through your laptop or the monitor speakers that come through your screen monitor. I think that these are a fantastic upgrade from that. They aren't crazy expensive and they're really going to give you an amazing sound that you will not get with any other 
other desktop speaker. But when it comes to music production, they are not going to be the best choice because they are quite small. When you move on to the PreSonus Eris E 4.5s, a better option for music production and those kind of situations because you have a bigger cone, which means you're going to get a lot more low end, which is what you want for mixing and getting a better overall balance, but also not the best for those situations. I would say these are better for gaming scenarios when you want to have a little bit more intimacy in terms of sound with low end gunshots and all these kinds of effects that are really going to stand out with a quality desktop speaker like the E4.5s. But when you move on to the PreSonus Eris E5s, these are really more made for music. They have a much bigger cone, which is going to get you a better overall balance. You have that front bass reflex port, which is going to give you even more low end, which is always fantastic with a studio monitor this size. You have a lot more room acoustic tuning options, which help you set these up better for your specific environment, which is a lot more important for music production and mixing compared to gaming or whatever you're going to be using your speakers for. So that brings this video to an end of my comparison between the PreSonus Eris E 3.5s, 4.5s and 5s. And just a reminder that if you're interested in a pair of these, I will leave the links down in the description below. Secondly, if you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time.